something to stop my Pete's Garage. Now, we have a little project here. It's a little electrical project, and I figured I'd share it with you for those of you who are worried about or, are, or get scared of working on your electrical system in your car. It's really not that difficult, and it's pretty easy to do. Working on the electrical system in your car has its own pluses and minuses, but really, it's not that difficult. You shouldn't be afraid of it. What I'm going to be doing is installing a power outlet. This is a cigarette lighter type power outlet with just a plus and a minus wire with a dash mount that goes underneath the dash. And I have to install this because the owner of this car, this is a 1962 Studebaker, the owner wants to have satellite radio in the car. Now I was going to hardwire it in right to the electrical system, just hardwire it right in, but I can't do that because the adapter that plugs into the cigarette lighter, the adapter has 12 volts in, 5 volts out. So I can't just cut into it, break it apart, and I don't want to ruin the whole thing. So I'm just going to add a power adapter. So let's take a look under the dash. We're going to see how we're going to mount this. We'll install it, check it, we'll find a hot wire to go into the positive side here, and we'll hook it up and we'll get it to work. Now this is the reason I want to install the outlet. This is the plug for the Sirius XM uh, power supply, and it might be difficult to see, but it says on here, in DC 9 to 16 volts output DC 5 volts and you can see by looking at this it's pretty complex I don't want to cut this up and ruin it that's why we're going to install the plug for this underneath the dash so here's the uh, little plug I bought at AutoZone it was only like nine bucks and you can see it's just a cigarette lighter adapter I've got four bolts here for a dash mount and just a the white which is the ground and the red which is the hot lead and all I did was I replaced the connector on the end with a terminal so I can put a ground on there. So what I'm going to do, you can see here I got my, here's the connector that's going to go in here. And I want this plug to go in here like that to give me 12 volts. And this will step it down to 5 volts to go to the system outside or to the uh, satellite radio. So let me get this mounted under the dash and then we'll find uh, an ignition sourced hot lead to hook up to this positive lead. All right, so now you can see nothing too crazy. I just have a couple of self-tapping sheet metal screws or self-drilling sheet metal screws there. The ground wire coming off the back of this goes underneath. So I have a ground and I have it mounted in a place. I have a handle here for one of the uh, external uh, vents. And I have my connector here that's coming up underneath the carpet. My wire comes up underneath the carpet there and it's not really long so I'm limited to where I can place this outlet. So I just go like this and plug it in and make sure that it's out of the way. And now I have my outlet installed nice and firm in there and I'm going to have power. No one's going to disturb it with this outlet and the wire is not going to get hung up on any of the escapements so I'm in good shape. So now all we need to do is hook up this power side I'll put a wire on here, we'll run it over to the other side where the driver's side is and uh, we'll hook it up to the power supply. Now, all of this wiring up in here is where I installed a cruise control system in this car and I really don't want to interrupt that. So we'll go over on the dashboard side and we'll find a good power supply that's, that's uh, controlled by the ignition switch. Now, if you've never done any electrical work before, don't be afraid of it and don't uh, be nervous because anybody can do it. Now, this is the end that I cut off of the connector when I bought it or when I bought off of that, that adapter. This is the female lug. That's what I cut off of there. And what I left on there was the red or the lug for the positive side. And I want to put a, a spade lug. This is the male that goes in here. And when you put these two together, that's how you make the connection. So what I want to do is I want to put this on a piece of red wire because I'm hooking it up to positive. I have a piece of red wire here and if you've never done this before get yourself some wire strippers. You can do it with pliers or strippers like this or cutters you can just sort of trim this around and pull it off but strippers makes it a lot easier. You just match up the gauge of the wire with your stripper when you put it on here and you pull on it. Of course I got the wrong one there. It's a 14 gauge wire. Put that on there. You pull on it and you strip the wire. And all you have to do is strip enough wire so that it fits in the connector that you're putting it in. So I put this in here. And I'm going to twist as I put it in there. Got it in there all the way. And you can either do one of two things. You can either use this side, which is your insulator, or you can use this kind of crimper here. And I'm going to use this side since it's a 16 gauge wire. 
I'm just going to put this in here, crimp this on my wire like that, just crimp. And this puts that little mark in there and pushes that against the wire and holds it under nice and firm. Now we can go hook this up to the positive side of that connector and run it to the uh, other side of the passenger compartment or over, over by the driver's side. Now we come back to here and here's the positive wire hanging down from the connector. And here's the spade lug that I just put on there. I'm just going to push these two together. This has a little plastic uh, cover on it, so I'm just going to slide it back. Put these two together. And I'm going to push this up a little bit so that I have a good connector or an insulator. And I'll put some tape around here just to make sure that in case this goes up inside and touches the ground, I don't want it to short out. So I'll just tape this up and I'm just going to run this over the other side of the dashboard and we'll hook it up to a positive. If you ever do any electrical work on your car, it really, really, really helps to have one of these test lights. And all it is is a clamp with a wire and a light. You hook the clamp up to a ground, and a ground is anywhere on the body that's metal. So if I hook it up to this metal post here that's hooked up to the body, and I touch the positive side of the battery, the light goes on. That's how I know I have power. I know I have a ground, and here's a power source. That means that the power's on already. Now what I'm looking for under the dashboard is a power source that comes on when I turn the ignition switch on. That means it's ignition powered. When I turn it on I get 12 volts and when I turn it off it shuts off. So that's what I'm going to use. Uh, this is what I'm going to use for that. Now these things come and they have a real fine tip so you can poke through a wire and see if there's power there. That's why they have a really sharp tip. So let's go underneath the dashboard and we'll see if we can find a wire. Now it also really, really, really helps to have a wiring diagram for your car so you know what all the colored wires mean and how to find an ignition powered uh, wire to begin with. Now I just happen to know because I worked on this car before that this orange wire is an ignition powered switch. And I'm going to test that. Right now the ignition switch is off and I'm going to poke my tester into the wire. And if you do this be really, really careful because if you poke through or you slip it's going to stab your finger. Now I got it poked in there and I'm going to turn the ignition switch on and the light should go on. Oops. Make sure I have it in there all the way. Okay, see how my light went on? I'll leave it stuck in there and I'll shut the ignition. Whoops. It's tough to test when you're on our dashboard. Okay. Now I'll turn the switch off and on, make sure it works. Okay, off, on. So I know that this orange wire is an ignition consult control switch and that's what I'm going to hook up my positive lead from my uh, connector or my adapter on the other side. I'm going to hook this up to that wire and we'll test it out. Now the connector I'm using is one of these tie-in connectors and these things are really neat. They're really cool to tie into an existing wire and this is how it works. Let's say you have an existing wire underneath the dashboard and this is the one I want power from. You take this connector and you slide it over the wire you want to connect into, like that, so it slides right in the slot. And then the, the, the wire you want to put power to, like this one, you put in here and there's a little window there. You look to make sure it's inserted fully. So now I have this little stab thing here and this is going to pierce both wires and make a connection between the two. And I just take some pliers and when I go like this and push this together, push this down, it's going to stab both wires so like this. Hear a little click. Now that little thing is pressed down, it's plus pressed flush and it's, and it's cut into this wire and it joins this wire to this wire. So now I have power going to this wire from a main wire and then all you have to do is close this up. You lock that shut and now it keeps it nice and clean underneath the dashboard. That's how you tie into a power line underneath your dashboard. Alright, so let's try it out. Here is the satellite unit that we're going to be that we just ran power to. The power goes underneath the the, the, the power cable goes underneath the carpeting underneath there. And underneath the dashboard on the passenger side is where I put the connector and hooked up the power supply. I ran the wire across to this side, tied it into a ignition source, and all I have to do is turn the key. I'm gonna turn the key on and we'll make sure it works. I'll turn it on should come on. There we go, it comes on. And I just want to check to make sure that it's an ignition sourced wire so when I turn the key off this should also turn off. 
All right, that way I know I have that hooked up to an ignition source wire. And the reason you want to do that is so this isn't always powered up. If it's always powered up and you leave, it'll drain the battery. So there you have some very basic electrical wiring getting electrical power to an outlet. Now incidentally, that little outlet that I bought, I happened to buy the cigarette lighter version of that. That thing also comes with a couple USB outlets on it. So if you want to add some power outlets in your vehicle for your electronic uh, devices like your phone charge or whatever, you can buy that little thing for uh, it's like nine, ten bucks, hook it up to your power supply, and you'll have a power supply underneath your dashboard or someplace to plug in your devices. It really works pretty cool. I think I'll make a, a video about basic automotive electricity to help you a little more be a little more confident when you're working on your car that you're going to do it right, you're not going to burn out something in the car, you're not going to burn out the thing you're installing. Now, the thing that I installed there, the satellite radio draws 1.5 amps. And the controller for the cruise control that I put in, I think it was 4.5, so that's a total of 6 amps. The line that I hooked it up to goes back to a 20 amp breaker that hooks up a 20 amp breaker in the uh, fuse panel. So I'm sure that I'm not drawing too much current. If I was really going to use a cigarette lighter, and I use it as a cigarette lighter, I plugged, let's say I hooked that into a 5 amp line. As soon as you plug a cigarette lighter in there, it's going to draw too much current, you're going to blow fuses. So when you hook up your power supply or tie into a power supply with a wire, you want to make sure whatever it's hooked up to has enough capacity for what you're hooking it up to. Just trace it back to the, the fuse block and make sure that the fuse that's in there is big enough to power and supply whatever you're supplying. That way you don't blow fuses, you're not going to screw it up. I'll make a video about that because I think everybody would like to know how to do that, how to figure that out. So we'll do that in a future video. Um, hope that helps you out. Have a little confidence in working on your car, doing a little electric work. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage. Thank <laughs> you.